deadline day, a busy day at the state legislature as lawmakers work to pass a number of key issues. The minimum wage bill, you see it there, passed. Limiting development near Turtle Bay Resort also passed, but a proposal to build high rises in Kaka'ako Mokai denied tonight. And we got last minute compromises and deals at the Capitol. Good evening. I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Yenji Denise. Lawmakers race against the deadline in an attempt to keep bills alive. KITV Force Brenton Noir live at the state Capitol tonight. Brenton. Yanji, it's quiet now at the Capitol, but it got pretty hectic out here earlier as uh, negotiators from the House and the Senate tried to work out their differences on bills that have yet to pass. If no agreement happened today, those bills would be dead for the session. Here's a look at three of the more anticipated bills that were on the table. The country is one step closer to remaining the country. State lawmakers agreed on a proposal that would provide the $40 million needed to complete an agreement between the state, city, the Trust for Public Land, and the Turtle Bay Resort to keep 665 acres of land untouchable to development forever. I do think the, the lands around Cavella Bay and around Kahuku Point is uh, important. Um, I think the community will enjoy that. Uh, we're, we're going to make sure that the public has access to the lands uh, in a way that um, the public will be able to benefit. Also moving forward is a bill that would increase the state's minimum wage from $7.25 per hour to $10.10 per hour in the next four years. Lawmakers say this is a step in the right direction. But let's be clear, even at $10.10 uh, as the minimum wage, the gross income earning is $21,000 in a state where the median income price of a house is $685,000. It feels really good. You know, it could have been better, but this was a compromise measure that kind of uh, takes care of the things that we were very concerned about. This bill would make next year's minimum wage go up to $7.75 per hour, then up to $8.50 in 2016, $9.25 in 2017, and capping off at $10.10 10 in 2018. When the minimum wage is increased, economic activity actually increases. People have more money to spend. Of the big three bills with fiscal implications, the only one not to move forward is a bill that would let high-rise development happen in Kaka'ako Makai. While it's not a win for opponents, they'll remain optimistic for now. Just be happy that, at least for now, there will be no high-rise residential development in Kaka'ako. Lawmakers are still uh, in the Capitol putting together their committee reports that are due at midnight. As for those bills that uh, agreements were reached on, they'll move forward for a final vote next week. Reporting live at the state Capitol, I'm Brenton Owa for KITV4 News. Brenton.